Which game is the best matchup of every week of the 2023 NFL season? From week number one to week number 18, these are the best games of every week this season. Let's kick it off with week number one, which has to be the Monday night football opener, Aaron Rodgers opening up in front of his home crowd, New York Jet fans, who are going to be going wild for the best quarterback they've had in decades, taking on the top dog in the AFC East, the Buffalo Bills. It simply does not get more hype for one fan base than that. The best matchup of week number two has to be the Kansas City Chiefs, Andy Reid, taking on Doug Peterson and the Jacksonville Jags. This is a rematch of an AFC divisional game a year ago where Mahomes actually left the game, got injured. Trevor Lawrence, Patrick Mahomes, this is a great test for Jacksonville to truly see if they're ready to be among the elite in the AFC. My favorite matchup of week three has to be my New England Patriots traveling to the New York Jets to take on Aaron Rodgers for the first time as a Jet quarterback. And the big deal here for me, and the reason it's so interesting, is the fact that the Jets can't beat the Patriots. I don't remember the last time the Jets beat the Patriots. Can Aaron Rodgers help New York defeat Belichick and New England? The best matchup of week number four, I promise the Jets aren't on here that many more times. The New York Jets and the Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes versus Aaron Rodgers. I'm not sure we've actually ever seen this game happen. I believe Aaron Rodgers was suspended last time we had the opportunity to maybe see it. This time, we actually will get the chance. On top of that, it's a phenomenal Jets defense taking on arguably the best offense and play caller in the league in Andy Reid. That's an awesome OD matchup that is can't miss. The top game of week five is without a doubt one of my favorite of the season and one of my favorite old but new rivalries in football right now. The Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers. The 90s vibe is back because the last two years, the 49ers have beat the Cowboys in the playoffs. Can Dallas get their revenge in week five? On Sunday night. My favorite game of week six is an unconventional NFC East versus AFC East game. Brian Dayball returns to Buffalo to take on the Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen. Is there a coach with more information inside that Buffalo building than Brian Dayball? Love this matchup from an X's and O's standpoint. Martindale, what is he going to do to slow down Josh Allen? Love this one. Week 7, every season, we have a great Chargers-Chiefs game. This happens to be the first one of the year. The Chargers travel to Kansas City. And typically, the game just feels a little bit better when it's in Arrowhead. Justin Herbert, Patrick Mahomes, dueling it out in an AFC West showdown. The best game of week eight might be a preview of the Super Bowl. The Cincinnati Bengals travel to San Francisco to take on the 49ers. We saw this game a couple years ago. I believe it went to overtime. Really awesome matchup. A top quarterback in the league, Joe Burrow, taking on one of the top defenses in the league. Kyle Shanahan taking on Big Lou. Great coaching, great players. So much fun. I think this is a great old school 80s Super Bowl matchup. The best game of week number nine. You know I was going to have one of these games on the list. The NFC East top dogs battling it out. It's the Philadelphia Eagles hosting the Dallas Cowboys in week number nine. Jalen Hurts, Dak Prescott, the Cowboys. Have they closed the window on the Eagles to take the NFC East? By adding Gilmore and adding Brandon Cooks, can they beat and defend and slow down Jalen Hurts' offensive attack with Micah Parsons and company? This is a phenomenal division rivalry matchup. 
In week 10, my top game is a little bit out there, but that's exactly why it's my top matchup. The Detroit Lions and the LA Chargers. We are rarely going to see two more chaotic but fun football teams go at it in week 10 of this season. Herbert versus Goff, a former LA quarterback with the Rams. And then also, you just have an offense versus an offense. Fireworks, just so much fun. I feel like this is going to be dramatic back and forth, ending on a missed field goal or something of that sort. The Chargers, the Lions, it's just a very fun game. Week number 11, it's a Super Bowl rematch. The Philadelphia Eagles at the Kansas City Chiefs in Arrowhead. Monday night football. It doesn't get any bigger. It doesn't get any better. Both teams will also be great this year. We don't have any hesitation when it comes to that. Will the Eagles get their revenge? Will their defense be better prepared for this second matchup, for the rematch? Will they have that extra edge to their play in this game? Or will Kansas City once again be the better team on that day? Week number 12, it's a Thanksgiving primetime matchup in the NFC West. The 49ers travel to Seattle, the 12s, going nuts with turkey in their bellies. It's Geno Smith versus hopefully Brock Purdy by this point. Kyle Shanahan, Pete Carroll, great games that we've seen over the years between these two. 49ers, Seahawks, with I think the NFC West potentially on the line these two teams, I think, are both going to be very talented, and I do believe that Seattle has closed the gap a little, so we'll see if they're prepared to take on the 49ers. The best game of Week 13, it's the NFC Championship rematch. The 49ers return to the scene of the crime of Philadelphia, and these two teams just do not like each other. Like, they straight up hate each other. We saw that in that game, in the NFC Championship. It's physical, old-school football. They want to beat each other up. I can't wait for this game. Week 14, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Bills go to Arrowhead where that epic playoff game was played once upon a time. These games are always hype. They're always awesome. It's maybe the biggest quarterback rivalry in the sport right now. Week 15, my New England Patriots, the dynasty host, maybe the new dynasty the Kansas City Chiefs on Monday Night Football, Week 15. It's Belichick versus Mahomes. The mastermind of defense versus the best quarterback in football with an awesome secondary taking on an extremely awesome offense led by Travis Kelsey. This is going to be an epic matchup of offense versus defense in Gillette. Week 16, it's a Saturday game between Josh Allen and Justin Herbert. We have not seen this game very many times, but I have a feeling that we're about to see some of the greatest throws that we see all season in this game. Week 17, it might be the top most anticipated matchup of the season. The Cincinnati Bengals, Joe Burrow, traveled to Arrowhead once again to take on the Chiefs. And this is the team that has maybe, if any, had the number of Mahomes as of late and the Chiefs. And the Chiefs will be looking to provide a statement that they're still the top dogs. They are the man. And the Bengals will have to prove that if they can beat the man, they will be the man. And that's this game right here. Ric Flair style, baby. Woo! And finishing it off with week 18, I was indecisive between the two AFC East matchups, the Patriots and the Jets, but I already have that on this list. So I'm going to go with the Bills and the Dolphins. I think all four of these teams will be in it at the end of the day in the AFC. And these matchups will mean something. If Tua is upright at this point in the season, you would have to think the Dolphins are in it. At the very least for a wild card. This could be for the division. This was a playoff game last year. And Skylar Thompson almost pulled it off. Can Mike McDaniel win this game for Miami in Buffalo? Probably cold, maybe snowing. This is going to mean a lot in the final week of the season. Those are the best games of 2023. The best game of every week 
of the 2023 NFL season. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, grok spike the like button, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.